girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I got an exciting package from Juvia's Place. This took a while to get to me because there were some issues with shipping, but it's fine. It's finally here and I'm gonna do a swatch video for you. So they have released so many new nude lip products, which you know, nude is my thing. I love nude on my lips. Let me go on the Juvia's Place website so I can get prices for all of this because it didn't come with a leaflet. So the matte lipsticks retail for $14, the lip gloss $13 and the lip liner $10. You can get the whole bundle, oh it's sold out. So the whole bundle that I have is sold out, but you can buy like the gloss bundle for 45 where you get four glosses, or you can buy the glass gloss bundle where you get for, uh, three glosses for $35. You can buy the lip liner bundle for $48. You can buy the Marv lipstick bundle for $52. You can buy the peach lipstick bundle for $52 and they come with four lipsticks in the set. So that is the price of everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch everything. I'm gonna start with the glosses. Actually, I'm gonna start with swatching the lip liners on my hand. Okay, so I've swatched the first three lip liners starting from, so these top are Juvia's and then these are like different brands that I feel like most people would have tried or might have already. So for comparison, so the Juvia's Place lip liners are retractable. They come in this gorgeous pink packaging and they're kind of like lip crayon pencils. So the first Juvia's Place one we have is like a dark purple and it's called Scorpio then we have this kind of cool toned brown which is called Cola then we have this more kind of cool toned lighter brown which is called So Rare so I feel like all three of these would work for me and I've compared it to Glory Lip Liner from Revolution which if you have my lip set that would have came inside MAC Cork is literally a dupe for the Juvia's Place, so rare. And then MAC Chestnut, which is slightly a dupe for Juvia's Place, um, what is this called? Cola. Okay, so these are the other three shades in the Juvia's Place lip liners. From this side to this side, we have Love Me, Lush, and Sweet Nothing. So Love Me, Lush, and Sweet Nothing. I feel like these are just way too light for me personally. I wouldn't really use them, but for lighter skin, these might work perfect as like an everyday lip liner. So the first one is called It's Electric and this is a gold gloss. It's like a sheer gloss with tiny little gold glitters in it. Absolutely beautiful. Would be nice to wear by itself, but also to top a nude lip gloss. It doesn't feel sticky at all, but it does definitely have like a lip gloss feel to it. Next shade is called It's Glass, and this is just a normal see-through clear gloss. I like the big doe foot applicator because it applies loads of product. And yeah, that's just a really nice shiny clear gloss. So the last one in the glass gloss is called So Glazed and this one looks like it has purple glitters. I mean, I'm not really into pinky lip glosses, but this is definitely a cute, it would be a nice lip topper. It has really nice pinky reflecting glitters in there. So that is so glazed and that is the last of the glass glosses. So the rest of the glosses, I believe, have a little bit of color to them. So this first color is called Kiss Me. It's like a pinky color. Oh, really pigmented gloss glides on really nicely. Like I said, I'm not really into pinky glosses or pinky lip products in general, but if you are, this is a really nice kind of light baby pink without being crazy looking. I would personally use a lip liner with it, of course, but I just wanted to show you the true color of the lip gloss by itself. Next, we have the shade Barely There, which is like a peachy nude. Ooh, that's a nice color. With a lip liner, this would be me. I might go ahead and put a little bit of cola lip liner with it. Oh, this is my first time trying the lip liner. Goes on really nicely. I don't know if I needed to put the lip liner on before because it's not blending as nicely with the lip gloss or maybe the liner needs to be a bit darker. I'm not too sure. Still a beautiful color nonetheless, but I probably would go darker with the lip liner. Maybe if I put it on before, it would have come out darker. The next shade is called Sis and this is like a darker nude color. This is me, this is mine. This would be me every day. Every day with a dark lip liner, of course, but this would be me. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna add a little bit of cola. This nude is delicious. This is me every single day. So, sis and cola, a combo. An absolute legendary combo. I'm obsessed, I don't even wanna continue the video. I'm done. This is me tapping out. <laughs> we have one more lip gloss, which is called Caramel Rose. So let's go ahead and try that. Oh, this one looks like me as well. This one looks even more me. This is like a nice neutral caramelly brown. Oh yeah, this is my skin tone. So this is the gloss by itself, but I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with Cola Lip Liner again. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, this is gorgeous. 
this is me this is me the last two have been me me okay they get it it's you <laughs> So those are all of the glosses. Now we're gonna move on to the matte lipsticks. I'm gonna start with my least favorite. So I'm gonna start with the mauves because I'm not really a pinky type of person. So I'm gonna start with that and then we'll finish off with my peachy nudes, which I love the most. Love the packaging on the boxes that you get these gorgeous illustrations. You guys know Juvia's place already. I don't wanna take this off. So this is the packaging of the lipstick, gorgeous pinky uh, ombre type of effect with gold detailing. And then this is the shape of the lipstick, really unique. So the first shade I'm gonna start with is the shade 2020. I'm not expecting to love these cause I'm like I've said a million times already, I'm not a pinky type of person, but I'm just doing this so you guys can get an idea of the colors on my skin tone if you are a pinky type of person. Mm, the formula reminds me of the Huda Beauty Power Power Matte powder bullet power power bullet i can't remember what it's called but it's like matte but it goes on really pigmented and creamy like it feels really creamy when you're putting it on but it looks matte so yeah this is the shade 2020 would probably look better with a liner i'm gonna go ahead and try scorpio liner with it just to try add a little bit of character to it that already looks better not my style but definitely a cute lip combo i'm not mad at that at all it doesn't look crazy it doesn't look too bad that's a cute lipstick the next shade is called chic i feel like this one's a little bit lighter than 2020 and it does look a little bit crazy without a lip liner on me so yeah that is the color chic moving on swiftly the next shade is called a marv moment or is it mauve? A mauve moment. So yeah, that is a mauve mauve moment. And the last shade from mauve bundle is Kebby. They glide on really nicely. So yeah, this is the darkest mauve lipstick. Not mad at it, probably with certain looks, this would go really, really nice. I'll try pair it with Cola. If that doesn't go well, we'll pair it with Scorpio. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad when it's paired with Cola Lip Liner. Um, it adds a little bit of darkness to it. But yeah, that is the last mauve lipstick. Possibly my favorite out of the mauves just because it complements my skin tone a bit more than the brighter pinks. Now moving into the other two categories, which I definitely like, the chocolates and the peaches. I'm gonna start with the chocolates and then we'll finish on the peaches. Oh, this one's like an interesting color. It's like a yellow toned nude, almost like the color of sand, I suppose. This is really nice with my skin tone. I need to pair this with a lip liner just to define my lips so it doesn't look like concealer lips. I'm gonna take Cola lip liner. Oh yeah, that's nice. And then imagine topping this with the gloss. Mm, beautiful, beautiful nude combo. So this is the shade Lady mixed with Cola lip liner. Absolutely gorgeous nude. Gonna top it with a little bit of its electric gloss just cause I'm a gloss girl. If you're not, of course you can leave it matte. But I wanna see it topped with a gloss. Mmm, oh my God, I'm obsessed. This is a bit of me. This is all of me. This is gorgeous. Gloss is always complete nude combos for me. And this is just, guys, you can't tell me this is not my perfect nude. Like the yellowy undertone as well. I don't feel like I have anything like this. I have peachy nudes. I have 10,000 peachy nudes, but I don't think I have a yellowy undertone nude. I'm, I'm in love. I'm really in love. Okay, moving on, moving on. Next shade is called Muted. This one's kind of like a gray undertone nude. These undertones are really unique, you know. They're not the standard nudes that I have already. I'm gonna pair it with Cola Lip Liner again. This is a cool tone, dark skin friendly lip. If you wanted to try like a gray toned lip, but all of the grays look absolutely crazy and ashy, this is a really nice cool tone. It's unique. I don't think I have anything like this. Hmm. Okay, Juvia's Place, I see you. The next shade we have is called Toffee, and this is like a darker chocolatey nude. This one, I don't feel like it needs a lip liner. This is a true dark chocolatey nude on me. If you're a deep dark skin tone, this could be your everyday nude because it has that gorgeous warm undertone. This is beautiful. This just, I probably still would pair it with a lip liner just because I am who I am, but I don't feel like it needs a lip liner. It doesn't look crazy. It's not making my lips look mad. If you want a nude that kind of just melts into your lips and you don't need a lip liner, you don't need to kerfuffle with it and you know mix it with other things to make it work, this would be the color for you. So let's try the last one, which is called Coco. And this is the darkest one in the collection. 
Yeah, see this one's more of a vampy lip. This is a gorgeous dark brown. This would be me on nights out because I love wearing a dark brown lip on nights out. I always used to wear NYX cold brew lipstick, but now this might be my new go-to. This is beautiful. It has a nice warm undertone, almost like a burgundy undertone, but it's still a brown. So yeah, that chocolate bundle, chef's kiss. Absolutely beautiful, all of the shades. So let's go ahead and finish off with the peach collection. So the first shade in the peaches is Mademoiselle this is gorgeous this undertone i love definitely would pair with a lip liner so i'm just going to leave it like that so you can see the color of it but i'm going to go in with cola or should i try the other lip liner i really want to see if this is going to show up on my skin tone so this is so bare i think this is the one that's a dupe for mac cork yeah it's showing up it's just not that dark and i'd really do like a darker outer lip but you see what i mean it's kind of just blending into my skin tone it's not giving me the definition that i want so i mean it does work on my skin tone but i probably would still need to use cola around the edges that is a beautiful nude that is stunning and then imagine topping this with a clear gloss Juby has really killed it with this nude line. I'm so glad that there's not like crazy colors in this collection because give me 47,000 nudes, I will take them all. Give me three reds and I'm just like, this is too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna top it with the clear gloss just to show you guys my vibe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yes, this is it. This is me. I think I've said that about every shade, but this is really me. This is 100% me. I could happily end the video right here. I am obsessed. This is so done in okay i'm gonna stop saying that but the next shade is called in vogue this one's almost like an orange soda shade it's got like an orangey peachy undertone gonna pair it with cola lip liner again yeah this one's absolutely beautiful as well prefer the last one mademoiselle just because this one is leaning a little bit more orangey than i would personally prefer but then i'm looking at it on the monitor and it looks absolutely gorgeous i mean it is a stunning shade it's just when you compare the two because they're very similar i don't believe you need to get both when you compare the two i do prefer the last one slightly more just a little bit more the next shade we have is called me <laughs> Gorgeous colour, little bit of a darker peachy nude. Gonna line the lips with cola again. Yeah, that is a beautiful everyday colour that blends beautifully into my lips. Like that is a stunning colour. You know those days where you don't want a nude that's so light? This is perfect. It blends perfectly with the lip liner. It just, it looks really, really nice and natural. Not natural, still looks like a lipstick, but it looks really, it's like a natural lip nude. Last but not least, we have the shade Libra. Oh yeah. This one is gorgeous, I can already tell. Stunning. I'm gonna mix it with Cola Lip Liner, which is probably gonna be done by the end of this video. Perfect one to finish off on. This is absolutely gorgeous, peachy nude. Not too light, melts right into my lips. It just looks stunning and effortless. Really, really nice color. So once again, that is the shade Libra. And that is it for this video. Those are all of the shades swatched. And you know what? My lips don't hurt too much. Juvia's Place absolutely killed it with this collection. Honestly, I love that they went down the nudes route. Obviously, my favorites are the chocolates and the peaches i love them both equally they are absolutely stunning lipsticks throughout this video i've been putting my absolute favorites to the side and as you can see i've got quite a collection going on here so the shades mademoiselle in vogue me libra lady muted toffee are absolutely chef's kiss i will use them every single day those are my top go-to shades and then for the glosses we have the it's glass clear liquid lipstick no clear lip gloss caramel rose that gorgeous chocolatey brown and then sis which is the lighter more chocolatey slightly peachy pinky undertone more than this one as you guys can see but i absolutely love them both on me anyway so those are my top and oh of course cola lip liner carried this whole video really really nice lip liner formula glides on beautifully how much product is in here actually so this is how much product you get in here not much to be honest with you i have used quite a bit today you know but even then that's not a lot of product you will of course get way more product with mac chestnut which i believe is slightly more expensive but it will last you a longer time because it has more product and it's sharpenable rather than retractable i know juvia's place is not the easiest to get in the uk and i don't feel like these are on beauty bay maybe they're coming to beauty bay i'm not too sure but they're not there just yet i have ordered from juvia's place us website one time i didn't get customs charges but you can get customs charge i feel like any package coming from outside of 
the UK is subject to custom charges. I guess it's kind of like a roll of the dice, either you will or you won't. So just bear that in mind if you are gonna order from the US website. I think anything over 15 pounds gets a customs charge. But like I said, I ordered $50 worth of product one time from them and I didn't get one. So I mean, do you wanna try your luck or not? That's totally up to you. But yeah, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care, bye. Thank you.